Hi again, hello, let's play fans, Joe Palberg, 787, back for a brand new episode of EU4, Ethiopia, Press the John, Achievement Run, Common Sense, all of that jazz, right, um, where were we? Yeah, well, basically, Elodia, we were, I was planning on going to war against Makuria, but, um, well, with the plan to release Elodia, the Elodian Separatists seem to be doing a fairly decent job, they might actually get to release it themselves, but I think they probably will need my help. Although, annoyingly, they probably won't recognize that I, that I helped them. Is there a way... Well, hold on one second. Can I, like, fund their rebels, but with, like, a pittance offer? Well, I would need to go and remove things. I can't really be bothered to find out. I don't think I could. Like, some sort of, like, really minuscule amount. Like, I don't know, 0.1 ducat a month. It's like, hey, I'm funding you. That's a lot of money where I'm come from. All right, good. So we've um, called you. And we still need to call you. But we're very near to doing that. How long are we? Oh, right, about two months cool that's actually a point i want to see if that changes whether we get more power from the coastal tr center of trade due to it being a core i don't think we will we'll get more money from like tax i suppose and stuff like that but overall oh rebels rebels aladan separatists in those two fucking provinces eh well well we'll deal with you if and when you pop when do you plan on popping by the way 2.1 years all right that's fairly soon not particularly happy about that because it's probably going to take me 2.1 years to go and smite these chumps. When does this truce run out? Ah, it runs out in December. Mm. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, they definitely don't need my help. Yeah, you're just going to release yourselves, I think. Seems like you've got enough. I don't know how many troops these chumps have got. I can find out. Let me go to the um, all-powerful ledger. I don't think they've got more than 16,000, I'll tell you that. And if they don't, they've, uh, they've got many problems. Uh, here we go. No. No. They don't. Alright, well. Welcome back to the game, Elodia. I'm just going to preemptively welcome you. Um, because you're coming back. <laughs> I think that's fairly obvious. Meantime, let's move you down here. Since we're not going to be going to war with you. I really want to incorporate you. Because then that gives us a, a route. A route up that way. Visit from some shady people, hey? Then we can get Spy Offensive plus 10%. Which, yeah, okay. Or we can refuse and get, what, five prestige. I think I'll take the five prestige. Because I don't really need to um, fabricate claims or anything like that. Because I've got the um, that religious Cassius, Be Cassius Belli. Which trumps everything, really. It's sort of like, oh, sorry, are you, are you Coptic? No, oh, okay, well then, the war! It's basically how it works. Uh, what's this jazz? Military access from Harar. You want military access? Well, you know what? Yeah, I will give you military access. That's fine. You know, if you were a vassal of mine, you could uh, just freely have military access. Are you at war with someone? Who are you at war with? Oh, shit, you're in a few wars here. Oh, crap. Don't tell me these arsehole. No, hold on. Who are they at war with? Hejaz and Hans and Hassa. Um, all right, okay. So a few people want to try and eat you, it seems. Do you have any allies? Oh, you're allied with... You. No, you're allied with me, of course. All right, you... This... This, the war's not over you, because I would have been called in then. It must be a war that Yemen are in or something like that, and you've honoured the call there. Pretty silly of you. Who are these guys? Peasants? I'm going to have a few problems with peasants. Well, not peasants, actually. I'm not going to have any problems with peasants. I'm going to have problems with with separatists. Yeah, there we go. Well, me being here should make a difference. My 13,000 men. I don't know how big a difference. Yeah. What is this? Highlands? Coastal desert. Probably better if I actually hung out in the coastal desert. Or rather in the highlands, because just the terrain. If they pop in there, I'll have a bit of an advantage. And if they pop there, there's there's no modifiers. I can just walk in. So yeah, maybe that is the right thing to do. And if they get awfully near, maybe I can raise that. If they get really near to popping, I'll uh, quickly raise that fort again. How far are they away? 1.9 years. I think we're pretty good for the time being. Maybe we have stability too. So all is hand... Oh, what's going on here? Occupied by... Ad really? Well done, Adal. Pretty impressed that you're occupying territory despite you're up against three different people. You do have an ally, though. Who's your ally? Really? All right. Marahen. Ah, okay. I see. I see. I see what's going on. Cool. Well, I'll have fun with that. Has more little tabs pop down. Come on, tab. Tabathon. Oh, yeah, new new idea. Cool. 
I get an extra missionary, which is brilliant for when I actually do start using them. Yep, yep, good, good. Then stability cost modifier, which is pretty sweet. And then finally, missionary strength plus three. That's when we'll start to do all of our converting. As I said, again, it's still 120, uh, over 100 months anyway. So it's still a bit of a too longer time for me to really want to plow cash into. But as soon as we get that plus three to military strength, that should drop to within like, I think 50 months or something like that, like, which is basically what, two, two years, two and a bit years. No, what am I talking about? It's way more than two years, like five years. Well, it's a bit less than five years, but whatever. Point is that that's a much more bearable time frame to be pumping money in than you know, over 10 years, 15 years for one province. Uh, this war seems to, oh, have Yemen turned the tide here? Yeah, they have, well, quite impressively as well. Hmm. I'm a little bit. Like I mentioned it earlier. I'm still kind of peeved that they uh, took this land. I don't really want Yemen over here. But on the flip side, it's not that big a deal. Once I strengthen round here, I'll be able to smite Yemen. Who dislikes Yemen? Do you do you dislike Yemen? Well, you're allied with the Timurids. Timurids are pretty big. Well, I knew that already, but. It's always, I'm always quite surprised when I look at them and go, wow, they're pretty big. That's like the whole of the Arabian Peninsula. Or pretty much the whole of the world as I see it down here. Yeah, but it's probably like, well, they're still pretty loads of provinces. But they're all shit provinces though, really, aren't they? Pretty much. Konjakala. Yeah, piece of shit. Close that. Mamluks, what are you doing? You've only allied with Kandar. That's not a particularly great ally. You are guaranteeing the independence of Hejaz, are you? Oh, interesting. And you do have a truce with the Ottomans for another four years. Well, it's going to be a while before I attack you. I need to take these chumps. You've still got all these troops down here. Jack Mac. I'm presuming that's how it's pronounced, the general. Jack Mac Buri Burji. Interesting name. Mm, Alright, okay. Well, the tide has turned in that war, it seems. I really want to go to war. But what is it good for? Well, loads of things. I want that province. So I kind of need to um, wait for that province not to be sieged. Otherwise, I'll never be able to take it. So we'll wait. And then I'll... I, when, do, when can I go to war with these pricks again? Because that would probably be sweet. Just get rid of them. Take their land. Uh, 69. Alright, so six more years. Alright, we'll, we'll probably have to do another war before then. That seems like the smartest thing to do. I, it really annoys me that it doesn't tell... Oh, no, it does. Estimated. Right, 67 mark. Wow, that's... Wait, hold on one second. No, that's... Uh, I thought it didn't tell you. Yeah, it really annoys me that it doesn't tell you... Like, estimate, like, when you're going to annex them, roughly. Like, yeah, I know he's been doing it for 786, 7, 8, 9, 90, you know, days. It's that, that, that's not really that the interesting part. It's like, roughly, when do you think we're going to incorporate them into our country? No idea, boss. We'll see fools but um i kind of want that to be done before i attack anyone but i do want to there's plenty of wars coming i really should have just jumped in over here who are my rivals are they one of my rivals i don't think they are one of my rivals uh view my country no these pricks are one of my rivals mm, interesting who else could i set as my rivals just to get you know power projection for beating up on rivals hmm all right, I don't really want to fight either of those two at the moment. Although, army-wise, we're pretty even. So interesting. And they don't have any navy, really? What kind of primitives are they? Like, I probably could have... Well, I don't have any navy either. No, they do it. What do you mean they have no navy? Oh, is it me has no navy? Right, okay, sorry. Duh. Me being a primitive. Me being very stupid. That's actually a point. Why don't I build some ships? How long is it going to take me to build uh, a few barks? That seems like an awfully long time. Mm. Don't really want to spend almost a thousand days building a ship. I'm presuming that's because the autonomy is pretty high. We'll have to wait for that to burn down before we uh, start building ships. Because, yeah, I mean, a thousand days? It's like three years? Well, it's not quite a thousand. It's nine. Ooh, what's it? The Emperor is enacted. Oh, who cares about that? That's so far away. That's all over here. It's going to be years before I care about what happens over here. Ooh, what's going on here? Alsace. Alsace 
trouncing on Burgundy, apparently. Interesting. Oh, hold, hello. So Brittany is back. Provence could not hold on to all that territory. Unsurprising, really. Anything else interesting in up here? Uh, Lollard heretics. Uh, yeah, again, something that doesn't really concern me. Hmm. Not an awful lot that I can see that looks particularly alarming. Golden Horde, look at them. Where's Muscovy? I'm presuming it's over here, just in all this terra incognita. Would make sense, wouldn't it? That's where it would be. That's a lot of troops, actually. Might have to be a little bit wary about going to war with these... Pri oh, wow, what's happened here? Alright, they're still at war with their... Oh, what happened here? Alright, they took that land. Okay, I see. I see what you did there. I see. Hmm... Who the fuck's Pate? There's some sort of savages down there. And Melindy as well. Who are these guys? Alright, that's Melindy, Pate, and Kilwa. And yeah, it's these fellows who are the uh, issue. And they've got Mogad issue as well. They seem to have quite a few troops, which is bothersome. Certainly more than what I have. And that's like a 20,000 stack there. Alright, we'll have to maybe not go to war with you just yet. Hmm. Not too worried. I could probably do. It. Are you at war with Harar? You are at war with Harar. Oh, what? Is this some sort of separate war? Who else are you at war with? That is, it must be Yemen, I'm presuming. No. Who, what? Are they just straight up at war with you? I suppose they are. Like, well, I could find out, couldn't I? Defender against the Hejaz conquest of Tamara, which is not there. Which is obviously, it's up there, of course, what we're talking about. Is this one, Defender Against the... of Where? Qu Quadho. The House of Solomon is shaken. What's happened here? There seems to be a misunderstanding regarding the heritage of the great-grandmother of Zara Jacob. It seems that she was the daughter of a lowly farmer from outside Gondar. Now, lose five legitimacy or lose five prestige. Mm -hmm. uh, legitimacy, there we go. Lose five legitimacy. So, what? Who are you... I don't understand who this fucking was. What's the war over? Uh. Oh, was it here? Right, okay. Quadho, that's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a bit of a strange one for them to actually declare war over, but hey-ho. Uh, oh, cool, we've got Kaffir in here. Excellent. We lose three diplomatic rope. Um, thingamajig, what's it called? Reputation. But I'll live with that. Look at these guys coming in to fight. Alright, chaps. Move over here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of forts down here as well. We could actually probably destroy a couple. I think we actually need... No, that's not a fort. That's a fort, though. I thought, this, I thought there was three, but they probably vanished when they um, saw what the deal was. So we'll mothball that. Yeah, okay, that all seems fine. I am going to go... When does this truce of Adar... Ah, are you kicking your... Alright, you're beating your way back against these... Right, okay. It looks like Elodia is going to need a bit of help then to be released. Who are these chumps? Pay military access. Oh, we're trading in coffee. Excellent. Fort defense plus 10. That's pretty sweet. Always like a bit of extra fort defense. All right, you move over here. You move there. And we're going to go and uh, fight. Fight Makuria. Because these chumps have no allies and have rebel issues. I really don't want Hurrah to be um, removed. That bug me a little bit, considering I want them. Oh, a revolt. Where's the Ah, just when I left as well. That's so fucking annoying. All right, hold on. You're going to have to come back this way and smite these guys. You can still move over here, though. That's fine. All right, chaps. We've got some work to do. Thankfully, there's not tons, but that's so annoying. Just when I left, they popped. Uh, no, I'm not giving you access. You're my enemy. Or at least will be. Hold on, pause. Yeah, why don't we... Um, you know, why, don't, why don't we... Oh, crap, I didn't... Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, they're, they're going to both fall anyway before we... Oh, well, this one might not, actually. Might get there before it falls. That'll save me a bit of autonomy. There we go. We did get there. Just before it fell, which is pretty good. Where are all these other troops? They're not fighting on... Are they fighting with me as well? It seems like they are. Yeah, they are. Interesting. It's like, they don't like these rebels either. Smash them. 
I'm not going to complain. It's free help, I suppose. There we go. Good job, guys. Good job. Thanks for the help. Yeah. Uh, now what we're going to do before we go and fight those pricks is uh, change what type of spearmen we have. Oh, no. Well, I thought it, we had... Oh, no. We suffered casualties. All oh, right, because I didn't upgrade. That was it. Sorry. That's what I was waiting to do. So we'll upgrade. And then we shall change. There we go. Uh, I can't remember which ones. It's one. It's either the Eastern or Western Warriors that I prefer. Now let's just put a little pause on there for a second. Um, there is no Eastern. Okay, so it wasn't. Maybe it's the Western ones. So I do kind of prefer defensive. Hmm. Morale is pretty good. But so shock. Hmm. Actually, fuck it. Let's go for the South African Warriors. Okay, South African Warriors, are you ready? Let's let that morale recover a little bit. Could you guys fuck off so I don't take so much attrition? Dickweeds. Oh my god, they're not going to fuck off at all, are they? They're just going to stay there forever. Just hanging out. It's like, hey, you're starving, we're starving. Yeah, good times. It's sort of like if you just moved out of my land, none of us would be starving. But hey-ho, what can I do? Morons, eh? Hmm... And it's one of those where, yeah, all right, I could move. But it's my fucking land. Why should I move out? Ridiculousness. Absolute ridiculousness. I don't even know if that's a word. Ridiculousness. You know what I mean. Oh, no, the morale's recovering, isn't it? Because I changed the troops. That's right. But that'd be fine. It's almost there. Come on. Come on, morale. Come on. Almost there. And then we can go in and club these guys to death. Why is this taking so long? These rebels could be a bit tricky. I want to make sure that we're at full morale. Oh, where are you going now? Are you going into the airland? Oh, that's pretty good. I won't even have to fight you. Let's just move in now then. That's it. Yemen, look. Problems. Go and fight them. Whilst I come here and uh, have to siege out this fort. No, that's not a problem. I mean, I'd rather not have to do it, but, you know, whatever. We're there now. We'll get it done. <laughs> come on, Yemen. Come and deal with these rebels. What did you take here, by the way? Wow. Did you take all of that? Shit. You left that one province. That was slightly greedy. I bet you don't even have any kind of coalition going on as well. Like, no one gives a fuck that you took pretty much the whole of Hejaz. Pretty much. Mamluks care a little bit. Naj cares a little bit. Hejaz amazingly doesn't care as much as what you think. That's pretty much it. No, and everyone else is kind of like, eh, whatever. Whatever. Is what it is. Like, no, it's not fucking is what it is. Someone should be pissed off about that other than me. Well, maybe they could come deal with these rebels. That would be pretty nice. Because, like, these rebels are only just going to come back into my land and bother me once I leave, so... You know, why are you still dicking around in here? Well, I, I get why you're dicking around in here. It's because you don't want to all hang out there, apparently. At least that's what I'm guessing it is. Why isn't this war over anyway? You've got the war goal. You've got what you wanted. Take it. I hope they don't take Hurrah. I don't think they will. But it wouldn't shock me. That's a lot of rebels. I hope they don't try and fight me because I'm going to be trying to release them as well. And it would really annoy me if they came and fought me. Da, 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 da. Come on. Maybe I can speed this up, actually. Let's pop that up to level 5 since we're basically just waiting for a fort to, to, to fall. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, come on. What are you doing? Go and fuck those rebels up before they actually move into my land. All right, so that war ended with what happening. They just pieced them out. Fate of the Egyptian Copts. All right, word has reached us from Egypt that the Mamluk Sultan is persecuting the Copts. In his lands in the fellow kingdom of the Patriarch Alexandria, Judy Duak, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what can we do? Send a strongly worded letter to the Sultan. Uh, Medri Bakri's opinion of us changes by plus 50. Awesome. And the event, a letter arrives from Ethiopia. We can avoid risk of angering the Mamluks. I'm certainly not going to be checking that. Or oh, this is a just case for war. We can gain a diplomatic insult CB, which I don't really need. All right, we'll send a strongly worded letter. That sounds like something I would do in real life. Excuse me, Mr. Sultan. I'm not happy with the way you are treating 
Coptics, uh, or a letter from the, an ambassador from the Mamluks. Today, a Mamluk messenger arrived at our court bearing a reply of the Sultan to our concerns about the Copts in his land. The reply is far from an apology we had expected, however. The Sultan has chosen to show his contempt for the Ethiopian court, and he ridicules any form of retribution that we might attempt. Really. Really. For some reason, this picture doesn't look like the people involved. But anyway, um, so what can we do? We can imprison the ambassador, gain five prestige, and the Mamluks hate us by minus ten. Again, this cause for war. We can gain ten prestige from it, so there is that. Or we can just let the matter drop, which we won't do. We'll imprison their smelly ambassador. Who the fuck does he think he is? Uh, our with hurrah. Why are we even here? Oh yeah, that's right, because we want to offer him vassalization. Ow, balls. They moved their fucking troops over here as well. Alright, hold on. Raise. Because at least that will... Oh, what are you doing now? You're fucking off because we raised that fort. Good, that's it. Fight. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, are we up to full kind of uh, friendliness with you? Because we can probably offer you vassalization now. Hopefully. Hopefully you'll accept. Oh, you bastards. Hmm... Not as good as it once was. We had the chance. Oh, well. Well, I'll keep them for the time being, because they do seem to have a nice troop mount. Um, but at some stage, I will break our uh, alliance and squash them. You rebels are really pissing me off. You're actually costing me money here. I have to keep this fort activated so you don't fucking dick around in my lands. But, I mean, I'm going to crush you as soon as this fort falls. Which shouldn't be too long. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Now, it can't be that long. We're at zero. We're at speed five. That'll steam through. Eventually. Ooh, we're up to 21%. Ex Ooh, dropped down to seven. Strange. But, you know, whatever. I don't question game mechanics. I'm sure they're correct. Where are you pissing off to now? Going to Asab. Yeah. Actually, I can't even go in there and deal with you. That's the worst thing about this is... I don't have open borders with them, and I don't think they're going to give me open borders. Which means you're just going to come back in and annoy me. Uh, there should be a stable government, several blah blah blah. Okay, so accept demands. Lose 50 admin points. I don't want to do that. I think I'd rather lose the prestige. I need those admin points. Alright, we'll lose the prestige. We'll get the prestige back. It's no problem. And uh, actually, on that note, we will pause. I was kind of hoping this would fall before the end of the episode. But we will end the episode here with these... Yeah, man, come in and deal with these fucking rebels so I can not worry about them and go and deal with shit over here. Anyway... That's what will be the plan in the next episode. Till then, thank you very, very much for watching and all your comments and all that jazz. And we shall see each other next time. Bye-bye.